Get even more Studio Sweat On Demand with our seven day free trial. We've got a huge library of live and on demand workout videos, all filmed in our studio and featuring real people just like you. Not to mention a super supportive community of members around the world. Download our app today. Hey guys, Sam here with Studio Sweat On Demand. Today I'll be talking about grips as far as when we're holding dumbbells, and this also applies to kettlebell work and the handles on the TRX, and anything else, any other piece of equipment that you might be holding during your workouts. So why do I wanna talk about this? Because we see this commonly done incorrectly, and when we're gripping the weights too hard with the hands, like the wrists and forearms take over, and it kind of prevents us from feeling the muscles that we're trying to target. So I'll give you an example. Say we're doing like a bent over row. So we see, see how my knuckles are like white. I'm squeezing so hard, all I feel right now is my forearms. So when I'm rowing, I'm not really recruiting my back muscles. So I'll show you from the front. See how my palms are wrapped around, the heels of my hands are squeezing that weight. What we want to do is release that. So they're barely just resting in the bottom of your fingers. Now when I row, I can actually pull my shoulder blades back first, then my elbows. And I'm not overusing the grip strength and the wrists. So I'm getting a lot more tension through the back. So that's one example of this. I'll show you a couple more movements that we see this in. It's the same thing with like a bicep curl. If you're squeezing with those wrists, I feel a lot of shoulders, a lot of neck, barely any biceps there. But if you can relax those palms, curl up and just kind of let the dumbbells roll into the heels of your hands. So you're coming from that padded part by the bottom of your fingers up towards the thumbs and just kind of letting that dumbbell roll with your hands. That's gonna feel a lot more intense for your biceps. I'll go through a couple more positions here. Say we're doing like overhead triceps. With this one, we wanna keep those hands in a diamond shape. So can you see how like my thumbs and my pointer fingers are touching together, making that diamond shape? We wanna keep that really light grip rather than squeezing onto the head of that dumbbell. The reason we don't wanna squeeze the weight like this, same thing, I feel like so much tension in my wrists, in my hands, and my forearms, not really even using the triceps. So we wanna let the dumbbells rest in our hands in any position that we're using these weights in. So it's gonna help you to recruit those muscles that we're trying to target. And again, remember that this applies to like your TRX when you're using those suspension trainers. Same thing, whenever you're holding those handles, try to think of never even letting your palm touch the equipment, just kind of gently wrapping your fingers around. So next time you're working with any piece of equipment, dumbbells, kettlebells, TRX handles, give it a try and see if you can feel the difference. Try one rep squeezing, one rep not squeezing, and just see if that makes a difference for you. And hopefully that helps with your workouts. And if you want some great workouts that incorporate dumbbells, kettlebells, TRX, stuff like that, check out our on-demand library at Studio Sweat On Demand. <laughs>